So in this video, we're going to be posterizing an image. First thing you want to do is download from Google Drive your photo. Then go ahead and open it in Photoshop. So file, open, it's probably going to be in downloads. So take a look there. Now we're going to adjust it to black and white. So you're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. This will open a new window, hit OK. You can adjust the sliders slightly, but don't do it too much. It's going to make your video or your image look funny. Now on to posterizing. So go to layer, new adjustment layer, all the way down to the bottom, you'll find posterize. Again, hit OK. And you'll want between three and five different values. So the levels are actually values. So you'll have white, black, and different grays. I'm gonna go with five. I think it makes the eyes and the teeth actually look normal. Those are things you'll wanna pay attention to. Next step is to colorize. So again, layer, new adjustment layer, but you're gonna to go to hue, saturation. Hit okay. And that'll bring up this window. Click Colorize, and then choose a color that you want your painting to be. Now we have to crop it to 11 by 14. So these little windows up here will allow you to change the size. Make sure that you are focusing in on what is important, and that's your person. Don't forget to save. So in your save, you are going to type in your last name and portrait. Instead of having it a Photoshop file, we're gonna go down to format and change it to a JPEG. Do this under the format menu. And then we'll want to save it onto the desktop so it's easy to locate and easy to delete when we're done using it. Hit OK, and then it's saved. Last thing you need to do is print. So go to File, all the way down to Print. You want to print to the printer 5225A. You're going to print one copy. You want to change the scale so it fits the media or our letter sized paper, our 8.5 by 11 inch paper. And then you will hit print. Sometimes a window comes up like this. Just hit OK. Check your settings to make sure that they are the same. And hit print. Hit OK. And then it should print to the printer in the computer lab. 